Heavenly Father, blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. We have a strong city, Lord. You will appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks. Open the gates, that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. All is vanity if you are not active in our endeavors, Lord. For every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. Lord, you are the vine and we are the branches. He who abides in you and you in him bears much fruit, for without you we can do nothing. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Our work is futile if you are not in the process. You provide our shelter, security, and food. Without your blessing, all is accounted as nothing. For the blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. Therefore we do not worry, saying what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear. For our Heavenly Father knows that we need all these things. But we will seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to us. Yes, we will humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt us in due time, casting all our care upon him, for he cares for us. For the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, who shelters him all day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb is a reward. Children are a gift from God, and a sign of your favor. They shall be like olive trees around the table, like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. They are a symbol of strength. They make a home a fruitful garden and a fortification of truth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. May our descendants possess the gates of those who hate us. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Indeed, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we will not give up. Our eyes are upon you, Lord Jesus. In your mighty and marvelous name we depend on and praise. Amen. <laughs>